hello students of class 9 student today we have a new session session 5 and 6 in this session we will learn about how to insert the columns and rows and about the format cell and its contents the children sometime we need to insert new rows and new column in existing database so today I will show you how to insert the columns and rows in existing data range and after that I will show you about the format cell and its contents okay, how can we change uh, the cells or its value according to our needs and conditions so let's have a look of this video by practically and that will be a great effect that this will great give a great great effect to your study then let's have a look of this practical view children now we will learn about the inserting rows and columns in category of the home tab and uh, after that we learn about also inserting the sheets uh, means uh, inserting and deleting the rows and column also so let's have a look of this video as uh, telling about how to selecting the rows and inserting the columns the children we have here the sum data as i have written for you as you can see this is the here the column as a first quarter sale second quarter sale the children as i forgot to insert here the such a as a number you can see here the quarter sale it should be in a second uh, quarter sale first should be in a second and second should be in a third and third should be in a fourth quarter sale so by mistake uh, as i have done now we can correct it by inserting the cells in the first quarter cell and this will cover our first as a cell here the children for this we will click on the as the home tab and here the insert option in, in click on the insert cells as you find this as a dialog box shift cells right and shift cells down if you want to insert the cells as a right side you select this radio button on the select this shift cell right side though your new cell would be inserted in the right hand side of your cell so as a selecting and click on ok button the so children as you can see here we have a new cell and it adjusted all the cells so we can here input our new data here the so children for inserting here as we can put the our data as we have done here same like here about the columns as you can see here the column b column c column d column in uh, before this column you want to insert the new column the first uh, as uh, select that column and click in the cells group and insert this option insert and now you click insert sheet columns as you click insert sheet column we have a now new sheet a new column between the name and quarter cells here the first quarter cell between and but uh, if you can uh, insert the column by right click on this uh, right click and insert this option as you click insert the option new seat a new column will be inserted and uh, now this way we can insert the many columns at the same time so for that we have to select the the multiple columns as i can by pressing the control and selected here, here the two columns as click on the insert option and here insert sheet columns the children you will see here the two columns will be inserted here so as a selecting as you can do by the manually right click on this and insert option the children you can see here as uh, we have inserted two columns at the same time as we can as a delete also 
So for deleting, select that column, click on delete option here and select the delete sheet column. So this will delete your as a column. And if you want to delete at the same time many columns, so select the multiple columns which you want to delete and click on the cells group. In the cells group we find here the delete or you can manually do the manually right click and delete the column. So this way children we can delete the rows and I mean columns and now about the rows here if you want to insert the rows above the here the seven number to so select that rows and click on insert and now this time we select here insert sheet rows the children you will see here the one cell I mean one rows would be inserted as a uh, your selecting before that uh, rows here. And uh, if you want to insert by manually, select that uh, rows and click on the insert and after. So here we can find the two seat, but you want to select, I mean insert the multiple rows. Select the as a multiple rows and right click or you can go through the as a cells group. Click on the insert. As you can see children, same way, same process for inserting the rows also here. And you want to delete the same process we will find here for deleting the rows select that rows which you want to delete go to the cells group and delete option here so delete sheet as a rows here and you can delete the multiple rows as select the multiple rows and right click on that and uh, delete option choose the delete option this will let you delete the all the rows at the same time the so children as we can about uh, talk about here the inserting the as a sheet one as a sheet two here as a for inserting go to the insert and click on the sheet one as you can click on the plus option here so clicking on the plus you can get the new sheet for your as a book workbook here so as you can see seat one seat two seat three but it is not in order so you can get it order here so as a now sheet one as a pressing and hold down control button and drag two word as a before the as a sheet two so it would be in a order sheet one now you can see children sheet one sheet two and sheet three here so this way children we can insert the sheet and delete the sheet also so which sleep with which seat you want to delete select that sheet and uh, you can see three seat two seat three here in order now you want to uh, delete a sheet you can go through the delete option in the cells group here or you can move to uh, sheet one sheet two the control plus page down you will move toward the sheet two and sheet three and if you want to reverse the control plus page up you will move sheet two sheet one in a reverse order the so for as a moving page one two and sheet one sheet two you can use the as a shortcut key as I told you here and you want to delete the sheet sheet select the seat and click on the delete option as a in the cells group you will find here delete sheet click on this and that sheet that sheet would be deleted and sheet 3 same as you can press the right click here and uh, delete option this way we can delete the rows and column as I showed you here and uh, we can insert the sheet uh, according to our need as I have shown you here okay, we can insert the sheet also here sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 as per according to your needs here the children now next uh, we will see about the as a formatting the cell contents uh, the formatting cell contents uh, as I told you told you here uh, how can we format cell its contents uh, in a starting of this uh, video but I will show you about uh, the formatting cells uh, so don't uh, worry about I will show you practically all these things uh, because it will be very helpful in your practical so let's have a second video of the related I mean related to the cell and its contents uh, in session 6 now children we have the another session related to the cell formatting option in MS Excel the children for that we as I have written some data here for formatting related to the cell contents the children as we first click on the home tab 
as we get here the number group in the number group we find here the launch box as a you can say this is a launcher format cells launcher as you click on this uh, uh, button you will get the format cells dialog box here the first as we find here the number tab so we can as a format the cells but before the formatting the cells we have to select the all the contents or which contents we want to as a format so first of all it gives the in the category of the number as a related to the general general as a we use normally for the text and numbers here but according to your needs we can change and others tab also alignment font border fill and production these are given the many uh, tab here related to the different different option inside this the first about talking about the here the general as i told you here the general is related to the such a uh, related uh, means uh, to the here text as well as related to the number as we usually write uh, we in our spread sheet but as you want to change uh, or if you want to set the as a number as uh, as you want to change here first of all select that ring in which you want to format the first select the range here and uh, click on the as a number as a, that is a format dialog box will let you here to so click on this launcher dialog box uh, format cells uh, as uh, click on the number here the number as you can see here the decimal places it is a uh, you can set the decimal places as uh, after the decimal point here two decimal places will get here but uh, according to your needs you can increase the decimal places as uh, by the rotator box here is a uh, given and click on the okay button to use children here you can see this is the two places after the as a number as uh, you can increase or decrease here or you can use the separator as a thousand separator it will show you as a after the thousand as a periods also he called to so click on the selecting then check marks and the thousand click on the ok button so you will get children here as a thousand separator now as a next uh, about here the related to the as a currency or as a general you want to get as a general as a normal view to click on the general and it will get as a reverse position of your number and uh, now next as a related to the as a currency if you want to uh, change the currency or you want to include the symbols of the currency as a dollar sign so we can as a put here the dollar symbols as we can insert the other symbols also by pound and the other uh, yen so this way we can use the symbols for our numbers as we can select that the symbols and click on the ok button the children you can see here with the number it is shown here the dollar sign with all the numbers here as a next we can select our here the reverse position as a general as a now next after that we can uh, uh, talk about the uh, here accounting accounting as the same like here the places decimal places and symbol you want to use it is related to but here as a currency we use or number for about the date to so for the uh, formatting of the date we should have the as a data for the related to the date so as i have written here the date of the birth you can see children here as a select the range and click on the launcher dialog box here clicking on this we select this time as a date you can say as a so by default it is selected but we, we before that we have to select the ring and here here we can find the formatting i mean uh, formats of related to the date of birth i mean date here the many formats select any one and click on ok button now it is showing in the has option sometime it shows because of the insufficient space in the column so we can set uh, the space or uh, the first of all we select the space and click on the format option here we click on the auto column width okay children as you select the auto column width automatically it will set the width for your text or as a data okay so selecting the all and selecting here the all for the auto width here so children you can see see here ki as we have selected the data and it contained automatically fit with the cell now as a related to the date and uh, protections percentage and scientific 
text these all given the for the your as a formatting number so children as but uh, usually we use related to the number currency and date and time here so we see here related to the date and currency and accounting after that and now next uh, we can talk about here as a uh, uh, alignment so for the aligning we find here the two uh, alignment text alignment horizontal and vertical in excel as a horizontal you can move as a left center and right in vertical we can go to the top center and bottom so let's as a here we find the default uh, alignment of the as a in the spreadsheet so for the changing this uh, we have to select the our data to changing the alignment as we can see here the horizontal and uh, vertical we can see here the both so now close cancel this dialog box and select our range for setting or changing the alignment for all here the data click on the line launcher dialog box and click on the alignment tab here we set as a left and click on ok button so we we can see here that our all text will be in a left hand side we can change this as a setting now now setting here the right hand side clicking on the right hand side we can set the all the text as a right hand side center if we select here the center center will give you here as all the text in a center and uh, now about here the as a vertical the vertical for this uh, we have to make uh, the width uh, as a increase the width that's why you uh, can see the effects of the as a vertical at the first of all we select the range and click on the format and here the as a row height click on the row height and give here the as a 15 now but we can make it a 30 as click on the okay so children you can see here the it is increased the as a height of the rows here so now selecting the as a data range here and uh, for setting or for changing the alignment here so we go through here alignment tab here and uh, click on the here vertical now top you can see the all the text and data in the uh, top side here top of the cell here uh, but selecting that again here and click on the launcher dialog box click on the alignment and here now center select this time center so all text to all number would be in a center now next again here as alignment and now that is a here the text the text we can uh, rotate here the orientations of the text but uh, as especially we use in the sometime then now for the as a heading we can give the such a effect for the heading over the selecting these the all the as a heading and click on the alignment and orientation click on the text so we can see here the all the text as if as a according to that effect but we can change as a little bit is increase the height of the rows so we can see this is the effect of our as a orientation but we can change this uh, as a click on the or a number here and click on this is a degree here orientation degree we can rotate by the rotator or you can directly the mouse here you can increase or decrease the as a uh, position of the text as a slanting here slanting way so this will give a uh, little bit uh, effect to your text in the as a spread sheet or now you can get it a normal again here as a clicking on the 90 degree here or zero here sorry zero degree here and click on ok so all text would be as in a reverse position now next uh, children uh, talking about here the text control text control in the category we find uh, wrap text uh, shrink to fit uh, and merge cells the so children you can see here as a uh, we learn about one by one here wrap the text the all the text wrap in a one cell so sometime we write a text and it cover the other cell so for that uh, uh, we have a such a solution for covering uh, or wrapping that uh, all text inside that cells uh, I mean within that cells here the so first uh, as you can see these all the as a normal but this is here this uh, d6 is a not a normal means it is covering the other or hidden the in the 
next cell and here you can see scholarship amount it is covering the other cell so we can resolve this problem by selecting these all the range where you want to apply the wrapping as a click on the alignment and click on the wrap text so it will as a set the all the text in that cell not it will cover the other cell the rapid text uh, wrapping text uh, it is a uh, such a uh, important for our as a cell when cover any cell the other we can use the wrapping text here now next as a uh, here string to fit uh, sometimes children we write uh, as a text uh, but we want to keep in that uh, as a space without increasing or decreasing the height and width of the column we want to shrink the text inside in that cell space without increasing or decreasing wrap text it increase or decrease the cells according to that text but here we want to shrink the text it will make the small text according to the as a cell space to so select here the shrink to fit and shrink to fit it fit your all text inside that as a cell so selecting that as a cell click on the alignment and click on here shrink to fit and click on okay button so children you can see it make uh, the small the content uh, it decreased uh, the font size uh, and it fit the all the text uh, in that uh, cell without increasing or decreasing the space of the cells so here merge cells uh, children merge cells uh, if you want to merge all the cells i mean uh, many cells in a one cell so we use the merge cells option for that we have to select uh, the cells here as we want to set these all okay cells here two cells in a one to so click on the merge cells option selecting two cells and click on the merge cells option so children you, you can see here ki these two cells uh, in a now in a one so this way children we can do many things in the excel i think you will like this video and you will see properly and thoroughly about the all the settings of the formatting cells what i showed you today so i think you will read properly and thoroughly all things in the session 5 and 6 okay children thank you for watching this video